Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're going to explore one of the most beautiful and meaningful traditions in Mexican culture, the food of Dia de Muertos. But before we dive into the delicious details, let's take a moment to understand why food plays such an important role in this celebration. In Mexico, Dia de Muertos is not just about remembering those who have passed. It's about welcoming their spirit back to the world of the living. We do this through ofrendas, which are carefully prepared altars full of items that are supposed to guide and comfort the souls of our loved ones. That is why we select all of their favorite items, especially their favorite foods, to place on these altars. Their favorite foods and drinks are offered as a way to honor their memory and in a way, symbolically share a meal with them once again. This is a beautiful act of love and remembrance. So aside from whatever each family prepares for the altars, let's dive in and see what people eat on this very special day. Let's start with one of the stars of Dia de Muertos, which is the famous Pan de Muerto. This sweet bread, usually flavored with hints of orange or anise, is decorated with shapes that represent bones, symbolizing the bodies of those we have lost. The pan de muertos is placed on the altars and enjoyed with a hot drink. Next up, we have calaveritas de azúcar, or sugar skulls. These little colorful figures, which can also be made of chocolate or amaranth, have deep symbolism. They represent the sacrifices that ancient civilizations used to make during religious ceremonies. They represent death, but in a playful and joyful way, showing how in Mexico we accept death as just another cycle of life. We cannot forget about tamales. This dish is enjoyed all across Mexico, and there are countless varieties. You'll find tamales made of chicken, pork, you'll even find sweet variations. The possibilities are endless. Speaking of traditional dishes, we also have mole, which is often served during Dia de Muertos at family gatherings, but also on the altars. To go with all the delicious food, we have traditional drinks like atole and champurrado. These warm, thick drinks are made from corn and come in flavors like vanilla, chocolate, or even fruits. They are perfect for warming up during the early November days, and they also pair perfectly with the pan de muertos. Aside from the main dishes, altars are also decorated with fresh fruits like oranges, sugarcane, guavas, and tejocotes, as well as traditional sweets like cocadas and alegrías, made from amaranth. And there you have it, some of the most delicious and meaningful foods of Dia de Muertos. From the sweet and symbolic pan de muerto to the colorful calaveritas. These foods aren't just a treat, they're offerings of love and memory for those who are no longer with us. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed learning about these Dia de Muertos traditions, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content about Mexican culture and traditions. Drop a comment below and let us know which of these foods is your favorite. Until next time, y buen provecho!